Hello, Magic Sven here, back with another draft. Um, today we're drafting the Classic Cube, which is one by Ryan Sachs. I think it's pretty similar to the regular Vintage Cube, but we'll see what differences we can find. Um, so first things first, look at this pack. Witness is strong. Liliana is quite good. Tropical's pretty hard to go wrong with. Saga is interesting. I bet this is pretty good, but I don't know if I want to jump into it right away. Conscripts is good. Opposition, I don't think I'm quite ready to do that just yet. I think I'd like to be pretty safe with my first pick, so I think I'm just going to take Tropical Island. You can't really go wrong with a blue duel, and I think um, Tropical might even be the best of the bunch. And Volcanic Island's probably pretty close, but we're going to go with Trop. Almost went away from me there. And let's see. Here we've got Findhorn Elves, which could go well with the opposition tables. Um, temporal Manipulation. I like me a Time Warp just fine. This, I think, goes in one of the Sacrifice combos that are in this cube. Um, I like Azika's Chariot, but I think I'd rather pick up a Mana. Mana Elf, if that's what we're doing. Grand Coliseum, I don't think we're there. Retro Fitcher Foundry is good. Whoever picks up the Urza Saga probably going to be pretty happy to get this. What does this do? Whenever a warrior attacks, you may have a controller and can one one. Okay, that's pretty sweet, but seems kind of narrow this point I'm pretty happy just taking Land of War Elves. Really just is good. It's good with Trop as the first pick so yeah let's just take that be happy about it. Contamination that's a weird one. Yeah I wonder how you could make this work. Hmm well then. All right Ancient Stone Idol. So you have to be attacking with a lot of creatures to do this. Okay, okay. Tinder farm. What kind of deck wants me to sacrifice my permanence? Is the cheese stand alone in this cube? Wild growth seems nice. So does Sakura Tribe Elder. I think I probably do want to stick to a green ramp theme. I might be able to wheel Grist. Grist seems very powerful, but don't have any ins to black right now. Um, I think I'm just going to take Wild Growth right now. Okay, Gemstone Mine is fine. Bone Crusher is pretty nice. Deathrite Shaman is really only good if you have fetch lands. Though I bet there's more of a lands theme in this cube. Grove is pretty good fixing. I want makes you wonder if Punishing Fire is in here. Probably. It's good on its own, but Fires really makes it pop off. Snapcaster Mage, you say. Hmm. It's not bad. Crisis goes really well with my first three picks here. I don't really want to pick it up third, fourth up. Do I want Snappy or Crisis? Or Death Rite? Let's take Death Rite. See what comes back. Ooh. We got some goodies here. So we've got another green blue. I don't feel as inclined to take that, even though if that's our colors, it'd be obviously better. But I've already got Trop, so. I just need fetches, really, at this point to make the trop do all my fixing for me. Volcanic, as I was talking about earlier, probably the best dual land. Um, Orcish Lumberjack is a fun one. Forest. I don't think that's where I'm at right yet. Maybe on the wheel, though. And probably a Mana Dork is the other guy here. This goes in the sack combo. I'm, I think I'm just going to take the Volk here. Let myself stay open for a bit longer. Okay. Oh, 
Opposition Agent with Wish Clock Talisman is kind of a wombo combo. This lets you search for something. If you make it Opposition Agent, then when they search for something, you Opposition Agent them. Deranged Hermit probably goes best in what I've got going on so far right now. Kitchen Finks goes well in the Sack Loop combo, but is also just pretty good with bunch of guys that can get me from one mana to three mana. Deranged Hermit probably goes the most in what I'm doing. If I'm hoping to wheel the opposition, I want Deranged Hermit, and I think I do want to try to do that, so let's take the Hermit. Okay, let's read this one. So this lets me ramp for a couple terms and then goes away. Why do that when I can just make a squirrel deck? So Deforest Tournament comes out, vanishes. I could have some like pretty beefy squirrels. Archangel is also one of those combo pieces. Um, this one I think goes especially well with Kitchen Finks. Winota's pretty sweet, but I'm not there. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Would love Noble Hierarch, but I think we're taking Crater Hoof Behemoth here. Yeah, this is probably the best mana dork, but Crater, what Crater Hoof does is just so unique and powerful. And look at what it's going with right now. Okay, we got the Opposition and the Eternal Witness back and the Lair of the Hydra, which is pretty good, but not going to be the pick. Going to be pretty hard to turn down opposition here. Like, I love me a witness, but we're going to opposition some fools. Okay, mental note is fine, so is Talisman, but I think Zeke's Chariot is just going to be exactly what I want to do. Here, I don't think I'm going to be contaminating anyone. This card, I think, is just bad. I don't really want to go for that. I'll take Court of Calling and be pretty happy about it. Yeah, Regrowth. Ooh, I got a, got a Dork back. That's nice. So right now we are Mono Green and Opposition. I like it. I like it. We tap in so many lands. Um, yeah, I'll take Grim Flare. This is just sort of filters through your deck. Probably won't play it, but yeah, we'll see. It's not bad. And this strange ramping land. Ramp sack land. Hickory Dickory Woodlot. Okay. Goblin Bombardment is fun. Oh, careful now, computer. Um, finale is real nice. I might be able to table that, though. I think I'm probably looking at Windswept Heath. Well, right now, Polluted Delta gets actually both Trop and Volk. But I don't have a use for Volk right now. Which leans me towards Heath. I think I am gonna take Heath. I'm just any I'm gonna want green duels and windswept heath will get them once I come upon them. Okay, you tap for Newspaper colors, red, white, black. Peatland's pretty good. This just seems very solid. Get a land or a non-land as you choose. Otherwise, yeah, Tinker's here, but I'm not, I'm not really on that path right now. This does get got by every... Yeah, but it's not... It's, well, neither of our colors. 
So I think we're looking at Peatland or Metamorph. Both pretty nice ones. This is really close. And I'm going to have extra land drops. Or I'm going to have extra spells, really. Here, now, there's not too much for us. Um, Corsair is fine. Pretty much always makes the deck. Gta is one of the all-stars out of the board. Worldly Tutor I don't really want to do unless I am comboing off directly. So with that said, it's probably Gta or Corsair. This Talisman taps for... Okay, this is green and blue, so that's certainly a consideration, too. The fixing is pretty nice. We don't have as much as we like right now. Yeah, I'm going to take the Talisman, just because it's fixing the mana I really want to fix. Okay, I think we've got ourselves a Natural Order deck right here. Sack an Elf, get my Crater Hoof, win the game. That seems rather good. Hope to table uh, Mystic. If we don't, I'd be happy enough with Stone Coil, probably, or Copter. Uh, Control Magic would be nice in the board, but this is definitely a Natural Order deck. Um, yeah, right now we're hoping to stick as close as we can to Mono Green as possible. So we're taking that. Woodfall, Woodfall Primus is a good one. That's here, and that's likely to pick. Just because this can be gotten when Crater Hoof Behemoth is not lethal. Off of uh, Natural Order, that is. Um, otherwise, in here, I could hope to table a Horizon Canopy. Psalm's fine, but his day in the sun has kind of passed these days, sadly. I'll be taking Primus. Okay, um, so it looks like green isn't quite as open from this side, but there's also a bunch of weird cards in this pack. Um, Fortune Unicorn's really just for the combo kill. Iteration's hard to cast. Rip Apart's real hard to cast. Spike Fuel Hazard, Bone Shard's kind of particular. Fast as Oracle, similar. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take the one mono green card out of this one. Like, if this is ever in my opening hand, that's pretty darn good. If not, I don't mind casting it either. So we'll take the Once Upon a Time. You know, every draft I get Hex Drinker, and then I play Hex Drinker, and it just wins the game sometimes. All by its lonesome. Manglehorn I wouldn't be sad about. Um, it's a good thing to get with my quarter calling, and hopefully if I wheel the... Uh, the other Court of Calling type card, I forget what it's called, but it gets a creature out of the deck. It'd be okay with that too, but you know what else is good with that? Hex Drinker, so we're taking Hex Drinker and we're not going to concern ourselves too much about it. Traverse gets a basic, or if you have Delirium, it gets just about anything. God, it only gets a creature. Well, given what I have, Delirium's going to be pretty hard for me to come across. I'm certainly not going to Lake of the Dead, though that is a cool one. I might st play Blightsteel. Not super likely at this point, but I think it's more likely than anything else here. Interesting Emrakul wield, but I think we're still on Finale of Devastation here. Yeah, this was the card I'm talking about. Search your library or graveyard for a creature card with um, cost X or less, put on the battlefield, and then some other text that doesn't come up. Uh, nothing really else here. Infernal Titan would be a nice one for the red deck to pick up, and Dark Ritual, if anyone's got a Storm deck going, that'll be looking pretty good. Okay, so we got here an Abundant Harvest or a Nurturing Peatland. Those are both pretty good cards. Yeah, 
I wish I had that breeding pool now. <laughs> I'm going to take the peatland. I think it's going to be more exciting. Um, I'll take the worldly tutor, but I don't really expect to play it. Did wield the mystic, which is very nice. Um, tower. I, I don't think I'm going to play it, but I'll take it. Gutter bones and some other stuff. Figure of destiny is destined to stay in my sideboard. Pretty good looking deck going right now. Um, if we stopped here, it'd certainly still be functional. Don't really want to play a Grim Flare. Mid-range green-black guys aren't really what I'm going for. Um, Metamorph should really have its own space in the sun. Ooh, we're talking Oko Thief of Crowns. If you haven't played with Oko, well, you probably haven't played Magic <laughs> in competitive Magic in the last three years, but. He is a beating. Probably the best, I'd say top five cards in the regular Vintage Cube. Uh, maybe Power Side, but it, this card is just bananas. Utterly ridiculous. Um, for wheels here, we'll be happy to wheel Shell Dock Isle. That'd be a nice one. Verdant Catacombs would also be great. But we are going to take our Oko and run. Oath of Druids is a fun one. For somebody else, though, because I'm just going to run into Mana Elves. Vivian's not bad either. I think I'd probably play this. I've got a lot of 5 drops, but I could still be into it. And we're going to take Oko. Maybe that'll give me a 3 slot. Yeah. Do a little rearranging here so our curve makes more sense. Grim Flare, get out of here. We're not going to play you. Blight Steel, we're also not going to play you. Oh, so we've got two very good options here, and they are Yavi My Coast and Upheaval. I do want the fixing, I, I really do. Fortunately, we got a lot of. Or a fair amount of mana dorks, but we don't actually have that many that fix for blue. A lot of green. There's an Avacyn's Pilgrim for white. I think it's just going to be too good, though. Upheaval just does so much work. Just wins games. Just wins games. Let's go. Let's go. We're taking it. Very happy for Prismatic Vista. I think this is one of the best fetch lands you can get. Obviously it doesn't get the duels, but doesn't really need to either. Also good with Deathrite Shaman. If we end up playing it. Otherwise out of here. Tarmogoyf is a, is a card. Fortunately it's day in the cube. is kind of come and gone. Crying Nightmare is good, but I don't really want to splash black right now. Uh... Got Eternal Kefnet, it doesn't really fit into our deck. Teferi I could maybe see splashing, but probably not at this point. Um, take a land. Okay, a lot of goodies here. Okay, so this taps for green and blue and cycles and gets got by Windswept Teeth. Cards I would play in this pack are Triome, Foothills, Llanowar Elves. Probably not Time Warp. Garuk Relentless, though. Yep. Can't play Force of Negation. I think this card's very good in the cube, but I only have about three or four blue cards at the moment. Fast Bond can be very good, but um, well, it is very good with Upheaval. If I had a Time Twister or something, I think I'd be all over that, but... Given that I don't, I should probably make the Discipline pick and take the uh, Mana Source here. I'll probably wheel something that's pretty good out of here, but we'll wait to see what that is. Here, I like Tracker fine. It's always okay. 
Devoted Druid takes us from 2 to 5 mana, which I think is worth doing, given we've got 2 5 drops and we just want to slam. Yeah, could maybe wheel a tracker here. Don't really want top. I don't want to just fidget around with top all day. Pestermite is not really for us. We don't have any infinite combos with it. Pentad Prisms, more for the Storm decks. Take our Mana Dork. Mm, some good stuff here. Doesn't tap for green, so we're not going to take that. City of Traders, I think you can't really play this in this style of deck. I'm just I want to want to make my land drops every turn. So that leaves us with Scavenging Ooze and Sylvan Library. Pretty happy with either of those. Ooze is nice to quarter finale up when I need it. So I think that might be a controversial pick, but I am taking the ooze there. Just want a bunch of creatures. I like Hydra. But it's a little clunky. Don't really see myself playing this card, even if it does fix for green blue. That pretty much puts us between Hydra and Sword. Sword unlikely to make the main deck, but it can be very good against the right kind of opponent, and I think that's worth taking it and putting it in the board here. Here we got a Survival of the Fittest. Okay, this fixes for green, white, black, and I don't have any white or black card aside from death right shaman which i might not even play so it's do i want survival or do i want thrag tusk i feel like the answer may surprise you so i've already got a lot of um ways to get guys so i think i just want thrag tusk here to be good against the creature decks the red decks of the world, if you will. Still not playing Oath of Druids. I could play Fauna Shaman. It's not as sleek as Survival, but it can do the job every once in a while. I'll take it. Be okay to cut it too later if I feel like it. Mm, I'm not really into loaming, I don't think. I'm a big fan of this card being added to the cube. I think that's a sweet one. This is like a weird um, show and tell, I think. Yes. I'm going to take Sword of Body in mind. I think it's actually maybe even more powerful than Fire and Ice. I could certainly see play in the main deck. Sometimes you can just cheese somebody out with it. Excavator or Tarmogoyf. Poor Tarmogoyf. I, I just can't even justify it here. Like, I'd rather bring my Vista back, my Heath, my Nurturing Peatland. Wow, almost every card I wanted came back. Okay. Given I got the Excavator, that makes the Wooded Foothills look a lot nicer. Land of War Elves you can never really go wrong with, but I do already have quite a few of that kind of effect. I think I'd rather just have perfect mana. Take a Pentad Prism and put it on the board. Armageddon's an interesting one, but I'm not going to play it out of the gate. And Bone Splitter. Get into my, my board, if you will. It won't. It just wants to stay, stay in the deck, and I don't blame it, because I think this deck looks pretty good. I still do wish I had a little more blue fixing, but that's the way it goes. Um, I'm going to edit the deck a little bit and be right back. And back with the final deck list here. Um, 
didn't have to make too many edits. I really just cut the regrowth, which I felt like wasn't quite doing enough. It, I mean, it'd be cute to like regrowth my natural order and get something else that's sweet. But I mean, if I need to regrowth my natural order, I'm probably already having a weird time. Thrag Tusk also didn't seem quite necessary in the main deck. I'll be happy to board it in against any one trying to do direct damage to my life total. Um, but aside from that, didn't seem super necessary when we already have two five drops that are doing a better job with opposition. Um, I did keep in the Deathrite Shaman. Just felt like it had enough synergy of lands going to the graveyard. We'll see how that actually turns out. If it ends up it's not quite good enough, I could see cutting it out of the main deck at a later point. Um, Ramnup Excavator stayed in. It also seemed just good enough. Um, other things, Fauna Shaman, also kind of close to being cut. You Generally, I find this card underperforms, but it like always fills a role. It always does a little bit of something. May turn out that I'd rather have regrowth or sort of body in mind or something else instead. Even Thrag Tusk could be the one. Um, what are you doing in the four slot, Phyrexian Metamorph? You belong at the three. But otherwise, I think the deck looks pretty darn good. We've got Opposition... We've got Oko, we've got Upheaval, Crater Hoof Behemoth, a bunch of stuff that's just going to win the game, and a bunch of different angles to do so. So, jump right into some games and see how it goes. And we are back for round one. Um, looks like we got a pretty decent hand here. It's going to be a little slow on turn two, so we're going to hope to draw something there, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Be happy to play Zika's Chariot on turn three if that's what we're up to, so we will keep. Opponent plays a forest. Could this be the mirror? Alright, an Oko is a pretty nice one to get. Happy about that for sure. Let's fetch. Just get the trop. And run out the pilgrim. They've got a talisman. So now that I've drawn the Oko, I'm going to be just playing that, of course. That'll be a nice one to have. Question is what do I do with it? Will I want to elk this? I don't think so. I'm gonna leave the Vista in hand. I'm gonna play the Peatland because I think I'd rather have that um, prismatic Vista to get the second blue that I'm gonna need. So yeah, let's just play the peatland. Green, blue, white, play the Oko. And I'll just make a food. Opponent tapping. Didn't play a land first, so see if they're stuck or if they just have a three drop. There's tireless tracker, okay. That makes sense why they didn't play the land then. You know, it's nice of them to have a tracker, but what if I had a tracker? Yeah, I think cloning it is the way to go here, so we're going to go pay life, green, white, pay my two life there, copy your tracker, play Vista, I'm going to always yield to this. And let's elk their creature. Don't particularly want that happening to me. Um, do I want to play Deathrite Shaman? 
Yeah, I think I do. Even though this means I don't have a second blue land out right now, I can make blue with death right right now pretty easily. I've got two lands in the graveyard. So, not really a concern. Opponent didn't attack Oko, which is a little surprising. Looks like I'm getting a bit of lag. Screen might be a little too big, so I'll, I'll probably try to reduce that in, before the next round. And they've got a Vraska, and that's going to kill my Oko. You got it. Makes sense. Seems good. So, should probably just get the Braska off the board. Yep, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wild growth my forest. Attack Vraska with my tracker. If they block, I'll just um, crack two clues. If they don't, then I'll play the chariot. Looks like they did block. So we are cracking clues, drawing cards. Let's yield to this, yield to this, another land's fine, crack the second clue, and we've got ourselves a dude, alright, so we get to eat that guy, play our land, um, and I can crack the clue in a turn if I want to. I probably don't want to, but the option is open to me. More likely, I'll probably just eat a tireless tracker out of their yard and call it a day. In a pretty commanding position at this point. They can sack a permanent and plus their Veraska. Looks like they will do that with the forest. Gonna be a tough comeback for them though. The good news is that this is a plus two, but it really does hurt for them to sack their mana. If they've got an upheaval here, that might be something that could really um, get them back into this. Outside of that, it's gonna be tough. Even then, I've got a pretty nice little backup plan there. Let's see what you got. Okay, they're cracking a clue, that's fine. Now they've actually drawn a lot of cards between the Vraska, the clue, and their usual draw step. Let's see, what's this? Four mana. Wouldn't be surprised to see something that brings my tracker down. Scoos, huh? Alright, in response to that, I'm going to eat the tireless tracker out of the yard so they don't have a chance to do it. There's Hex Drinker coming in and doing what it does best as per usual. So here they're either going to lose Vraska or the Ooze unless they've got a kill spell or something along that lines. Um, yeah, just going to attack Vraska with the Tracker.
looks like they're happy to let it go this time, which I am also pretty happy about. They've got five mana available to them. No creatures in the yard. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven total right now. Let's just play some squirrels. Oh, it's making me click this. Odd, but fine. Tap the pilgrim for the last one there. Not sure what kind of wrath they could have. But I don't really feel like playing into it. If I draw a land in the next turn, I think I just win. So no real reason to mess around there. Vistas are eating lands, which is not too surprising. Okay, I'm going to say okay to this. Make them take the one and then... Oh, okay, so they didn't do that. This probably means they'll leave up green on their turn and cut me off of the death rate mana. Looks like that is, in fact, what they're doing. Mind twist. Okay. It's not bad. Got it all except for the chariot. I think here I will exile their mind twist. Luckily I do have the black this time. They might eat in response, but I think more likely they don't. Cut me off of the mana. Nope, they will. Nope, they're thinking about it. It's kind of a tough sell. They do want a, to eat a creature so that they can eat a squirrel. And they allowed it. And they're going to consume the Crater Hoof Behemoth. When my squirrels start fading away. I wish I had my... My Behemoth in stand in hand still for sure, but I don't think it's going to cost me the game. Famous last words. If I attack with all, um, all being Tireless Tracker and four squirrels, they'll block a squirrel, take two, four, six, plus five. That feels like it's worth doing. Not going to attack with the Hermit. I want my bonus damage. And I'll play Chariot. Okay, they do block a squirrel. That's the thought. One, two, three. Let's do tap that. Get my chariot out. Oh, chariot. And I'll play Land of War. Or Findhorn Elves. Do I want to play Findhorn Elves? Is there a reason to play Findhorn Elves? I think there is. Alright. Do your worst.
At this point, I'm almost forcing my opponent to deal with Deathrite Shaman. Or at least to hold up the green mana to stop it, me from draining them with it. Once Upon a Time is probably not good enough. Really, they, I think they need Damnation or something along that lines to do it. Upheaval would work. They're taking their time on this one, so that means they don't have any slam dunk answer. No damnation today, and they concede it. Looks like we had enough stuff going on that this was able to do this. Um, okay, I'm going to try and move my camera around a little bit and hope that I can get this lag to chill out a little. Alright, I think this is going to be a little better. Um, so, sort of body and mind is pretty high up there in the considerations. It seems like they had a lot of green. A lot of splash colors too, but one of them was blue. Black, I think, was the other one. Anything I don't like so much. Thing is, I don't really want to put in sword and then cut a creature. Like, Fauna Shaman is probably the worst card in the deck, but it does carry a sword of body in mind. Maybe if I cut a Court of Calling. Maybe Death Rite's not that good. This could be a good time to cut Death Rite. Maybe I just cut Once Upon a Time, bring in the sword. I'm going to be annoyed if sword's in my opening hand, but other than that, we'll deal. It's not, luckily. Cards are looking a little big there. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is a turn whatever natural order, so we're going to keep it. Turn on yield all. I'll put out Avacyn's Pilgrim because I don't need the double green and it's the worst one of the bunch. Now, this card is scary. I don't know quite what I need to worry about here, but whatever it is, I'm terrified of it. So I think I'm going to tap Peatland put the wild growth here on the forest, play Devoted Druid and the uh, Mystic. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, yeah. So we gotta make sure to tap right. So Devoted Druid uses the white, Mystic uses the green, and that's all for us past the turn. I don't quite have enough to just get um, Crater Hoof and, you know, call it a, a day. Let's go to attack, see what they do. Nothing much there. I'm going to sacrifice the Pilgrim because it's the least exciting of the bunch. Hopefully this resolves. If it doesn't, I might be doomed. Okay, they got something. Opposition Agent. Oh no. Oh no. Did not see that coming. They exile. Okay, yeah, that's very good.
Woof. Yeah, did not see that one coming. You know, sometimes they have it. <laughs> Brutal. Otherwise, this was going to be a slam dunk win on turn three-ish game. So they've exiled Crater Hoof. And I can no longer search my library. I'm surprised they got Crater Hoof instead of something that they can cast more immediately. Wild Growth takes out the Wild... Or Rex Sage takes out the Wild Growth, rather. Which is fine. Are you going to hit me? Yes. Okay. No blocks. More Mana Dorks. It's not really the thing I was jonesing for. Let's make some green. I'll play Excavator here. Yeah, we're just going to run it all out. No reason to hold on. Unfortunately, we're kind of out of action. That was really the thing that was going to do it for us. Natural Order. Get the Crater Hoof Behemoth. Okay, they're ramping too. They likely will be able to cast that Crater Hoof at some point, just on how things are going. Well, maybe not so much if they're uh, sacking their Woodlot, but uh, Vraska is also very good against us right now. Might see them sacrificing a Rexage. Okay, they're killing that. I'll probably trade a Mana Dork for Frasca. Well, see if they want to send. I think they should not now. Okay, they do. Certainly not going to block it. Okay, that's pretty good. Do I have a land in the yard? No, but they do. And I am going to eat that land. Um, okay, let's pass. Attack Vraska. Attack Vraska. If they got a fatal push, you know. Okay, you, you did it. You got me. They are blocking, which is... Okay, that's eh, fine. Um, let's tap green. Eat that. Green. Green, 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 green. Green. It's always yield. And I got squirrels. What do you think about squirrels? Yeah, didn't think they'd attack there. I would actually love to pay Echo, if you don't mind. Yes. Okay, that's a fun one. Send in the clowns, by which I mean the squirrels. Yeah, didn't expect them to block there for sure so my exiled cards I've still got this crater hoof okay they're searching for a not creature which is nice one two three four five six seven mana out of them right now they need one more to play the crater hoof and they probably will I unfortunately do not have double blue If I attack with everything, they take two, four, six, seven, eight, and then I drain them. They need something else, something, anything. Well, 
Well, let's see if they have it. Block a squirrel. Go to two. Drain you. And we win the game. All right. Uh, that was a fun one. I really thought this opposition agent was going to be the death of us. Um, yeah, luckily we drew our Squirrel Lord right when we needed to. Deranged Hermit coming in clutch all the way back from Urza Saga. Still winning us games today. Uh, Urza's Legacy, I want to say? Urza Block. Yeah. They were... They needed 8 mana for this. They had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 available. So one more would do it. And I think it's pretty likely that they had a land in their hand, given that they've got 2 cards and nothing going on. They sort of just went, you know, land go, land go for the last couple turns there. Which was almost enough to do it if I think if they were one mana ahead, or if I drew this one mana, draw this uh, one turn later, then they probably could have got me with a crater hook behemoth. Eight is certainly a low enough life total that um, between opposition agent and crater hoof behemoth, those two can probably put the nail in the coffin. So that would be it gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of creatures you control. So all my, his creatures would be plus two, plus two with trample, seven damage, plus five damage, twelve trampling power coming at me, so I probably would have had to leave squirrels back. Um, yeah, it was a good game. We'll go on to the next one. All right, we're back for round two. We got a interesting hand here, missing some... Uh, blue mana for our Oko, but I still think we're going to keep this. We're going to have an ooze. It'll all be good. My opponent will play a fetch land. That'd be good. We're going to put on our yield all. Okay, uh, Talisman's a nice draw. And I'm just going to wild growth up my forest for now. Next turn, I can do something like Talisman into a Deathrite Shaman. No play from the opponent. Just jam our land. Cast Talisman. That resolves, so... Do I want to play Ooze or Deathrite Shaman? They've definitely got up removal mana, so I'm going to play Deathrite right now. It doesn't seem all that exciting at the moment, so if they kill it, fine. There we go, they play a Swamp. Now we've got two, four mana right now. If I draw a fifth, I am I can just jam my Deranged Tournament and be not too sad about it. Looks like they've got a Woe Strider, so they might be playing some Sack Combos over there. Okay, there's the island. What sounds better, Deranged Hermit or Oko? The eternal question. So I could do Oko and Thief, which is not bad. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have a great way to protect my Oko. And for that reason, I think... Yeah, let's play the Hermit. I haven't decided if I'm going to play Echo next turn yet or not. Uh, no attacks. For now, I think I would be happy paying it. Well, if they leave up a ton of mana, that might be a good case for not. So they've got a him, and they took out my Oko and my Finale. That's pretty good. Given that, 
I am definitely going to pay the echo. So let's do that. Add the color list and yes. Hello, opposition. Now they don't have enough mana to um, bring back the Woe Strider. So yeah, they're just taking a bunch here. And if this opposition resolves, that's pretty much going to do it, I think. We'll see what they have. Another land, five mana available. Zealous Conscript. Okay, so they're going to take my Hermit and probably just sack it. Make me take a good old uh, seven damage here. Okay, not bad, not bad. Sack the Hermit. You got it. Upheaval, huh? Well, still... I'm still going to play the opposition. Yeah, I don't have enough mana to play upheaval just yet, of course. Put a stop on their upkeep. I'm not sure why it's waiting for me there. And we're going to tap down both their red sources for sure. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to tap all lands. Tap, 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 tap. And they're going to hit me for a good chunk here. But as long as I keep playing stuff, I'm not really in danger. Here we'll play the ooze. Pass turn. No attacks. Tap them down. Now I am going to tap some creatures here. Going to three doesn't seem great against the red deck. I don't mind if they have got some black up. I'll eat my Hermit and my Death Rite. Not sure if there's really anything they could do about this. It is waiting on them, but I think they just might. Um, might just haven't seen it yet. And then let's eat the Death Rite. Keep growing the ooze. Um, I don't think I want to take life. Let's untap. Another forest is not great, of course. And now I think I'm going to start clocking them. I can tap down both their mountains and their two guys. Uh, let's say I tap down. Yeah, let's tap down the mountains. For sure. Let's tap you. And, yeah, actually, I'm going to tap this guy because now we have lethal. Let's 
And that's the game. Wow. Yep. Opposition still putting in work all these years. So it's some kind of red-black sacrifice deck with probably lots of discard and removal. What do I think about that? Fire and Ice could be okay. At least stops red stuff. I don't know if there's a combo with Zealous Conscripts in red and black that lets them go infinite, but I wouldn't be surprised at all. Not splashing for that. Regrowth is interesting. If they discard something key, I'd be able to get it back at least. Is anything I like less than the regrowth? Maybe the once upon a time again. But that's pretty pretty good itself. Okay, I think I'm into that change. Let's actually Wow. Having a lot of trouble. Regrowth. There we go. Um Yeah, Fire and Ice probably not gonna do it. I feel like they're gonna have a lot of uh black creature removal and this is just not gonna do anything against that and it's probably just gonna be pretty bad instead. Uh let's submit. On the draw. I assume anyway, I haven't picked yet, but hey. Yep, on the draw. Got kind of a crummy one here. Uh, my sideboarded card not looking super great. Phyrexian Metamorph with nothing to copy and uh, my big old top end without much to do. So I'm just going to ship this one and hope I draw something better. This is not much better, but a little bit, maybe. Maybe sort of. Um, at least Excavator can keep getting me lands. Here I'm probably just going to bottom a Crater Hoof so I can natural order it later. I don't think I can go to five with this, so let's keep put Crater Hoof on the bottom. Take the upkeep stop off. Okay, opponent is looting. They might have some reanimator synergies. It definitely seemed like they were a, a synergy deck. Indeed, we do see Gutter Bones. Titan's a nice reanimator target. I'm going to lead on Wooded Foothills. Um, get the trap when I need it. Pass to the opponent. There's a non-zero chance I just finale for a green card. Okay, so they do have a reanimation spell. Um, they're going to get back the Infernal Titan. That's a pretty nice 1-2, turn 1, turn 2 right there. Not a lot I can do about it. And that'll probably seal the game. We'll see if I draw anything that can really deal with this, but it's not likely. Yeah, look who's right on time. Elvish Mystic. I'll play it out. It's going to get burned. But, I don't know. It's one point I'm not taking, I guess. No reason to hold it. There's a Bomat Courier. This game, really, I'm just seeing if I can find any other cards out that the opponent is playing. Like, clearly they've got reanimation going on. Um, yep, this all resolves. Hit me for a bunch of damage. Youch. Gutter Bones is back. And, yep, I can crack, play Ramanop. They kill it, do me seven. Yeah, that's game. 
Well, that was a pretty good start from the opponent. Not much I could have done about it. Um, be interesting if they have the Entomb or not. Funny, I didn't see any discard strategies out of them earlier. It could have been that they just had a bunch of uh, clunkers in their hand, like Inferno Titan, and got stuck on them. So with that in mind, do we have any other graveyard hate? I don't think so. I think it's all already in the deck. This might mean Worldly Tutor is okay. If I need to get a Scavenging Ooze or a Deathrite Shaman, then I can. So if they're more of a synergy deck, then I think I am less excited about regrowth in that account. I'll try the Worldly Tutor. Seems like Ooze might be important here. I mean, yeah, they can kill it, and they might just beat me to the punch, but if they get a quick reanimator start, I'm going to want one of these guys. So let's try that. Another kind of medium hand here. I do have a draw engine in Peatland and Excavator. Not to mention I can keep playing my Foothills. Um, it's going to be a keep, but not one that I'm super excited about. The good news is we do get to uh, get to um, Deep Forest Hermit pretty quickly here. So we'll pass the turn. Unfortunately, no one mana elf. If they've got discard, gutter bones. Okay. Wild growth is not too bad because it doesn't actually cost us any mana to play. I'm a little hesitant about getting the trop at the moment. I don't have any blue cards in my hand. I need two of them for this to matter. So I'm just going to wild growth this forest. And we'll play the druid. And we'll pass the turn. Now it is possible I should have fetched in case they did something to get rid of my deep forest hermit and then I could just play ramen up and get my land back so with that in mind I will play the wooded foothills this turn for sure um did they discard a card they did I and they don't actually get anything from me so that's nice But here, that unfortunate play did come up. So normally, I would be immediately playing a land from my graveyard here, but it's not going to be the case. So a little bit of a misplay there. And let's pass the turn. So far, our opponent has curved out pretty well. Okay. So this is a reanimation spell. A repeatable one. Not bad. No reason to fetch now. I'm going to get Trop, so... I mean, aside from them being a land on top of my deck. I could have got the Triome, I guess. Yeah, that would have been a good reason, too. But there'll be plenty of chances to get the Triome. Let's play our Hermit out. And we 
got lots of squirrels. No reason to attack here, so we're just going to pass. Hope that our opponent doesn't have something like Entomb into Reanimate or Faithless Looting into Reanimate. Looks like they're not going to have enough mana to do that, so that's a positive. What do we got here? Okay, whenever a warrior attacks. I think this is a warrior. Sure is. This is not. Let's just always yield to this. Ah, and there's my triome. I'm just going to sack it right away. Oh, jeez. That stinks. They're nowhere near activating this ability. I don't care too much if they start crashing in with this. I got plenty of blockers. The question is, do I want to trade squirrels for dorks? Or squirrels for damage? And I think the answer is no, unfortunately. So I'm not going to be able to get in there quite yet. Had some pretty rough draws this game. Essentially, we've um, only drawn mana, I guess. Wild Growth is the one, one non-land card we've drawn. Don't play Infernal Titan. Don't play Infernal Titan. Don't put anything like Inferno Titan in the graveyard. Karizev. Okay. I'm going to cycle. This land isn't really doing me anything. Another deranged tournament. Well, we got squirrels on squirrels. Okay, so this does let me attack with my squirrels, since they're all 3-3s three now. Vanishing 3, so when the last counter is removed, I sack it. So that's going to be next turn, unfortunately. Of these lands, I think I do want to play the Peat land. Just because I'm going to need to be able to draw more cards to keep up. So here's the Hermit. Even if they have a kill spell, that's fine. Let's go to attacks, hit with my 3-3 three, three squirrels. Squirrel Tribal. Putting in work. Now if I could just draw the opposition, that would be clutch. They let it all through, and that's a lot of damage. Oh, wow, and they just concede. Hmm. That was an interesting game. Definitely an interesting match three. I mean, I certainly put a lot of power on the board. Very possible they were choked on mana. Um, seems like their deck had two plans. One of them was low to the ground creatures here. And the other was reanimation style like this. Um... Najila, I'm not sure about. I don't think this card is quite cube worthy. Neat, but just doesn't quite feel like it's getting there. Um, yeah, but a good game. Good game. And we'll go on to round three. Hello, and I'm back for round three, or at least I would be, except League ends on August 25th, 2021 at 5 p.m. My last game was played at about 4.45 
and it is now 5.15. So, unfortunately, that means it looks like our time with the Classic Cube has come to an end. So, unfortunately, we won't be able to see that last third match. Um, can I guarantee this would have been a trophy deck? Yes, it was definitely a trophy deck. Absolutely. No way could we ever lose the last game. But seriously, it, it was it was a very well put together deck. I think it had a very good shot of going the distance here. So sorry this video is cut a little short today, but appreciate you watching. Hope you had fun, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.